to Witch and Kitchen. Today, we're going to make some Myrrh Magic Altar Salt. This is just a nice little blessing offering you can leave on your mermaid altar or oceanic sacred space. I like to honor the ocean in July. July just seems to be my month. My natural uh, internal body clock just is drawn to ocean energy. So I'm gonna show you a really inexpensive way that you can make a sea salt offering that you can place on your space. The only thing that is a little pricey are the essential oils. Most of these I had already in my cabinets. If you are an avid essential oil user, then you probably have these on hand as well. And if not, I'd be more than happy to guide you in purchasing some. If you want to learn more about them, I do free classes. Free classes, yes. I do classes on essential oils, so if you would like to learn more about them, we could set something up like that as well. Email me at info at bohemiamagicstudios.com or you can direct message me on my Instagram. I always respond to all of the people that message me with with all the love and I'm, I really love you guys and thank you so much for watching my videos and supporting me. I always just want to do what I can to respond to you guys as well. You can DM me uh, if you have questions about essential oils, if you want recommendations, if you want to take a class with me, I will be more than happy to set you up with that. Without further ado, I want to show you guys what I will be making today, what kind of oils I'm using, what kind of flowers I've harvested. Um, I've just done this over the past uh, spring summer season, so I've had these flowers on hand that I've harvested for a while now. And I actually have one type of flower that I didn't harvest myself. I actually bought this at a cute little new age shop in Red Bank, New Jersey. This is jasmine, and I love jasmine, and I'm really excited to put this in my salt today. I have some sea salt. I really like putting coarse sea salt on my space. It's just a preference. I mean, you could use fine sea salt if you want. It really all depends on what you like and what, what you think is best for you. Here we go. I'm gonna show you what I have here. So I have a small mixing bowl right here, and here's my vessel. This is what I'm going to end up putting on my altar space. I found it in my garage and I think it's so cute. I have some food coloring, which is blue, to uh, surround themes of the ocean, which is really nice. I'm gonna put that into my salt. Also, I have glitter, which I'm really excited to add into our mermaid potpourri, and I thought this was so oceanic and magical. And it says sugar coating, but this is not edible, you guys. Do not eat this. <laughs> it's glitter, okay? So it's not edible glitter, it's uh, craft glitter. Just be aware of that. Um, I also have some gold glitter. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using that yet. I also have my rose and my clematis that I've harvested over the season. And then I have my my jasmine. And then the essential oils that I'm gonna be using today are um, very oceanic and calming scents. Notice they're all bluish green. Usually calming oils are color coded with more purples and blues and greens. So we have whisper, which is a very baby powderish kind of smell. It's very soft and feminine. Serenity, which is a calming blend that's great for helping you get to sleep at night. They also make complex gels as well. This has lavender in it and cedarwood. There's a bunch of different things. Lang Lang, marjoram, chamomile, vetiver, vanilla, Hawaiian sandalwood. So this has a lot of good calming stuff in it. Then eucalyptus is a bit more menthol and I thought that would give it a nice ocean breeze, refreshing kind of scent. And then peppermint, which is another really cooling kind of scent and also is cooling to the touch as well so if you have like a stiff neck or something I like to put this on my neck or if you're very hot in the summer and I need to be cooled off and it does cool you off so those are the oils I'm gonna be using today we're gonna start by opening our vessel and then we're going to use this to measure out how much salt we actually need It's just about filled right there because we're going to add some stuff to it so it's going to add some volume so we don't want to fill it up too much we're going to dump our sea salt into our bowl now we're going to add our blue food coloring you can use a little green too just so it's like aquatic it's gonna look so gorgeous you guys
but certainly not least, I'm going to add my essential oils. You only want about one to two drops of each one. They're really potent, so you don't want to overpower anything. smell the peppermint it's so invigorating and cooling and oh it's just lovely we're gonna put it in our little jar right here and then we're gonna dress it up with some seashells and we're gonna place this on our little altar space So there it is, it smells amazing. I'm so excited to put this on my ocean altar. If you guys wanna give it a try, definitely show me how yours came out on my Instagram page. You could tag me at Bohemian Magic Studios. I would love to see anybody who would like to try this out. It's just, how pretty is that? Love it. Thank you so much for joining me once again. My name is Justina and you can check me out on bohemiamagicstudios.com for more tips and tricks on how to live a magical lifestyle. And if you have any comments or questions, again, feel free to email me at info at bohemiamagicstudios.com and also DM me on my Instagram. Thank you guys so much once again and I hope to see you back on my channel real soon. I have a lot of stuff in store for you. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.